Kuzu Zambola, this is Sangi Tile, currently doing Masters of Engineering in Renewable Energy. We are third batch of our course and in our course we, are, we have got pilot project to do on it. The main of our pilot project is to design a solar cooker and to boil our water of 2 liters. And in this project uh, we have uh, divided into three main parts that is the first one will be described and will be instructed by Mr. Martin uh, for our overview and for second one Mr. Decker Wanchu will explain on construction details and finally Mr. Aita will explain on working principle of the solar cooker. In the renewable master course we built a solar cooker so the idea was to learn the properties of sunlight of heat and to find out that you can cook actually without anything else but the sun this was the most amazing thing that you don't need a gas stove you don't need to make a fire but if you properly make it you can cook just by using the sunshine so now I think that this has big application, yeah. but honestly, it becomes first the motivation to use it. So the assignment was for the students to build it. They had learned all of the steps in class and now they had to do it practically with saw and hammer and even learning how to cut glass and putting it properly together. And well, the reward was that we need to test it. The testing was six students me and my wife to have a picnic cooked from the solar cooker so a big pot of chili beans and we were able to cook this big pot and then eat together so it works really without fire without gas without electricity just outside on a bright day we could eight people eat together from this solar cooker one very important point is the usability so you get the energy for free and now you can cook for free. No need to buy electricity and gas. That is quite amazing. But we need to do, make this thing so convenient that people want to use it. It should not be inconvenient that you have trouble adjusting and lifting the lid and everything. So a big part of the design is to make it very usable. That it's easy to adjust directly to the sun. You can open it easily, put your pot in and that really it is no nuisance and you can then really use the free energy of the sun. I am Dekar Wonchu and I am also one of the member of the, uh, this project and uh, I'm going to uh, explain the uh, construction uh, of the uh, solar cooker. We have considered box type solar cooker. Uh, we have considered to construct a box type solar cooker uh, because uh, it can exploit both uh, diffuse as well as direct solar irradiance. At midst of pandemic, we have considered to construct a box type solar cooker with the locally available material uh, like uh, plywood, wood, sawdust, uh, glass and aluminum foil. So I will be explaining uh, the function of each uh, material we have uh, used to construct the uh, solar cooker. Just by converting uh, so sunlight uh, to heat alone uh, cannot uh, be an efficient uh, cooker, especially uh, with this uh, box type solar cooker unlike other type of solar cooker. And so to, uh, to make energy efficient uh, solar cooker, uh, we have uh, considered uh, so many uh, materials which is locally available and first we have uh, used a wood type wood uh, and plywood to construct a box and after that we have uh, used uh, a sawdust as an insulating material uh, which will uh, help to uh, retain the heat uh, which will help to retain the heat uh, loss from uh, conduction uh, and then we have used a glass sheet uh, uh, to trap a heat and also to uh, trap a heat and also to uh, to prevent the heat loss uh, due to conduction uh, uh, convection and radiation 
and after that to uh, direct the uh, uh, diffuse sunlight and a direct uh, uh, sun radiation we have used uh, uh, this uh, aluminium foil as a reflector as it is locally available and also we can use a plain mirror and other reflective materials uh, as, as a reflecting uh, material. Uh, as we see the box is colored uh, black so this is to absorb the heat and retain the heat uh, uh, within a box and then transfer those uh, uh, heat to the uh, cooking pot to facilitate uh, cooking and pasteurization of um, liquid and any type of food materials. Uh, this, uh, this is a simple uh, device where we can uh, track uh, angle of sun uh, and uh, we can always direct the maximum amount, amount of sun, sunlight in this box. Oh. Uh, after assembling all the parts uh, together, uh, at last uh, solar cooker, uh, cooker looks like this and this can help us to uh, cook and pasteurize uh, any food, any type of food materials and liquid. Kuzampu, my name is Aitabadur Suba. I'm also part of this uh, small assignment. And then uh, now uh, already the working principle, everything is, uh, I mean construction is already over. Now I will explain the working principle of this solar cooker. So the working principle is a simple thing. Uh, in which the main concept of uh, uh, this solar cooker is that uh, whatever sun energy, sunlight which is falling on this uh, box type solar cooker which can be converted into heat energy. That one is the main uh, part of this solar cooker and then main working principle can be explained like that. So by uh, the main uh, uh, some more benefit of this solar cooker is that in this uh, modern era, since uh, we are uh, already facing a lot of uh, problems related to uh, global warming, so if we can adopt uh, this type of solar cooker, I mean renewable energy, if we can use renewable energy, we can also cut down, we can also cut down uh, carbon dioxide. I mean carbon emission, we can cut down those uh, carbon emissions and then we can go clean and green. Thank you.